Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video. Wow, okay. Well, I've just made a video now for an unboxing from a fellow collector, Paul, who sent me some goodies. And then, you know, while I was sitting here, I looked around the table and I thought, actually, you know, I've, I've got a couple of things that I've, you know, just haven't made a video for that I've picked up that are actually quite interesting. And um, yeah, I thought I'd just show you at the same time. So, Good old Galaxian. Now, I loved Galaxian back in the arcades, back in the day. And uh, I'm still after the actual arcade machine. I'd love to get the arcade machine at some stage. But um, these were great. I mean, if you owned one of these back in the day, you were very popular. Because these things are damn expensive. You don't often find them anymore. So now this is the Coleco. Now, a bit of a competition to the Nintendo tabletops. Um, I, you know, in a way, I prefer the Nintendo tabletop because it's it's Nintendo, and uh, I think the Nintendo's are made a bit better. But these are different; use a different technology, and um, and it's in great condition. And let me just put in some batteries over here. And uh, yeah, I picked this up recently from a collector, uh, yeah, in South Africa, and uh, yeah, it wasn't you don't often get them, so I didn't I had to pay a little bit for it. Uh, but much appreciated because I mean I just love to get these old machines and especially when they're in working condition Let me just put batteries in there and especially if it is complete and it has everything so let me switch it on I mean if you can see that over there um, what I enjoyed about the Coleco's versus the Nintendo tabletops is the fact that um, it didn't use the light system you know where the light has to come through and shine through the graphics but obviously these were heavier on batteries whereas the nintendos would last forever on batteries they really would last forever but let me just start a game here because it's actually really got um, uh, ah, isn't that classic i mean i would have loved this i mean if i had this just listen to the sound effects i would really have enjoyed this back in the day Ah, classic stuff. So this was a great pickup. I really enjoy it. Let me take the batteries up before it drives me insane. Over there. And nice to get the box as well. Uh, let me just put that on there. And then at the same time, I thought, well, while I'm getting that from the same collector, um, I got myself a tabletop. Something that really takes me back to my, to my younger days. Now, my brother had this. He got this as a birthday present many, many years ago. And unfortunately, for whatever known reason, yeah, I've got a weakness as well that, you know, so, and I went and traded it, I think. I, don't, I can't remember what it was. I had it in my collection. I traded it. And I've always wanted to get one back again because it's just a great game. And I'm hoping my brother doesn't claim this one because if I remember correctly, I traded his one for very little to a fellow collector that really wanted it badly and that's a weakness of mine that when somebody wants something really badly I let it go and then later have this would you say remorse and say why did I let it go then I end up getting it back again either paying five times the amount or yeah it's, a, it's just one of those things but anyway a tabletop Nintendo Donkey Kong what a classic different system to the other it uses the light source coming through there and that's why these batteries last absolutely forever but this is an absolute classic. These are also becoming really difficult to find. You can see it only uses two batteries. And I'm sure the two would outlast the four that get used in the Galaxian. Let me just put batteries in here. This is an absolute classic. And I don't know if you can... Oh, let me actually put the battery cover in. Often you'll get these and you don't have battery cover. I've had a couple of them over the years. And like I said, I've traded them or... Some other collector who desperately wants one for his collection would end up with it. And then I'd have remorse at a later stage. But anyway, this was a classic. I played this and I clocked it so many times. And it's got this lovely little soundtrack. I mean, just listen to that. I don't know if you can actually see. Yeah. And classic, classic. So this is going to be as a welcome part of my collection. It's going to be sitting there. Uh, with the rest of my games and then I also got I'm just having a look around here because I haven't really been doing much on the side of collecting 
Let me just close this over here. And then another, another. I think this is just one of those knockoffs, Systema. Lately, I've been having a look at game and watches again. Like I said, I've got, I've got some in the UK that I'm waiting to get back here to South Africa. Um, I mean, the guys in the UK and in the States, you really are spoiled for choice. You've got so much stuff that you can get there at really reasonable prices compared to here in South Africa, where everybody wants an arm and a leg for everything. So yeah, guys, just a quick update. I'm just looking around here. I'm sure I've got other goodies that I've picked up somewhere and I've just stuck down and I've forgotten that I've actually got. But anyway. So yeah, guys, cheers, have a good Easter, and uh, thanks for watching.